And I'm Ahmad. And, and this, this is Cinnamon in High School. school. <laughs> As you walk into the school, the first place you run into is the library. It's a great place to unwind and study. Plus, Ms. Spira and Mr. Harsky are the queens of gossip. They know everything going on at the school. Did you see what she was wearing? Oh my god, I know. Um, can I check out this book, please? Really? This book? Right before E Hall, you come to the nurse's office. This is a no winding zone. You can't just come here with a headache. What do you want? My stomach hurts. Hmm, sounds terrible. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I my arm fell off a chair. I don't know what. I don't. So, here in the math wing, the one person you definitely don't want to mess with is Mrs. Arglas. She's a straight up savage. I have a question. Aw, are you upset because you're not getting enough attention today? Are you recording me because I'm about to throw this marker at you? Hey, Joey, you see what I'm doing? I'm turning your volume down. Mr. Arvo has put me in timeout. So, this is Mr. Gill. He teaches Algebra 2 in STAT. One thing about him is that he loves his rubber ducks. Um, I have a real quick question. Can't you see I'm in the middle of a ducking game? Now get out! Coming up to Mr. Hart's room. He's the scariest man you ever meet. Past E Hall, we have the gyms. There's only one thing you really have to worry about, though, and that's Mario Patrizzi. If you haven't done a Patrizzi impression by uh, the end of your high school career, then uh, you didn't go to the Minson. Duh. Duh. What are you doing? You guys are nowhere near as where you're supposed to be. Hey, put the phones away or it's mine. I'll kick you out and it goes to the office and you get us here for the day. If you don't put that phone away, I'm gonna break it into a thousand pieces. Get down and stretch. If you don't put that phone away, I'm gonna smash it on the floor into a million pieces. What if you? You got three days! <laughs> what the? Enough. Enough. You're done. Can you do a Patrizzi impression? Nah, nah. I am what I am. How's that better? So this is where the bulk of the science classes are. This is Mr. McConnell's room. He's a really great teacher. He really knows his stuff. I'm pretty sure he knows all this stuff. So the final velocity of the three... Anybody have any questions? Uh, happened again. So upstairs A Hall, we have Mr. Bacupper's room. You might not want to sit in front of the class because he likes to play with fire. So this is Miss Coker's room. She's a new teacher, and she does this thing where she prints Coker coins with her new mysterious 3D printer. But I think she's also printing real money, too. Don't look at me like that. These student loans aren't going to pay for themselves. All right, this is Mr. McGee's room. He teaches AP U.S. History. He's basically a real-life Indiana Jones. <laughs> snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? Over here we have Mr. Matz. He also teaches history. If you ever need any type of produce, Matz is your guy. Hey Mr. Matz, you got any produce today? Well, it's funny you ask. Got asparagus, carrots, 
This one's mine. Mm. Broccoli? Mm. Some tomatoes here. Yeah, I'll take that tomato. There you go. Across from Mr. Matt's, we use Ms. Schweitzer. She teaches a push in sociology. Try and guess which students are which. So down here in the English department, we have another new teacher, Mr. Trivitz. He's super young and is just one of the bros, so he really knows how to connect with the students. Listen, all the scholarships up until this point have been understood Hamlet. To be or not to be, no one knows what he's actually saying there. What he's saying, to be swole or to not be swole, that's what he's talking about. Okay, so now we're going to go to... Oh no, what's what's we gotta go? Through this window, we have the cooking room. Technically, you're not supposed to eat in senior court, but Chef's, chef's got, got you covered. covered. Hey, Chef, can I have apple juice? There you go, I'm out. I'll add it to your tent. Here in the cafeteria, it's the coldest room in the building. Mr. Hercock travels from school to school, so he's basically never here. So this is the TV room. This room holds a special place in my heart. There's always something wild going on in here. All right, partners. Today we're gonna do the greatest dance ever invented. We're gonna do the Cotton Eye Joe. Hit it, Cletus. I've been married a long time ago. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? Well, that's Cinnamon's in high school. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you guys next time.